welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. My name is Kelthos, and in the last episode, we had collected a few more collectibles, and then we made it to Sunfall, because we decided to do the main quest. And when we made it here, there was a guy that whose sister was really, really sick with a fever, and she was, like, dying or something, so we uh, went to Sunfall to talk to him about healing her. He's, like, over here, I think, or something. And um, the healer was a really big dick and wouldn't do it. So he told us that if we went and hunted a Thunderjaw and got the heart for him, that it would pay off his debts and then he would be able to do that for us. So we, we killed the Thunderjaw in the last episode and looted it. And then in this episode, we're going to return to him, give him the heart, and hopefully he'll heal the girl and then we can continue on. So here we go. Okay. Like now we got to find the healer, dude. We won't last another season. Uh, he's like right over here. Oh, there he is. Hi. I have your machine part. <clears throat> a deal's a deal. See to the girl, and it's yours. On my oath. But tell me, if this girl survives, what do you suppose is her future? It's what do you mean? Not having a future at all. Yeah. What a charming notion. Come, come. Let's be quick about this. Kindness doesn't keep well in the heat. Well, hurry up then. Talk to Abbas. Okay. Hi, Abbas. It's you. <clears throat> Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No. Wait. I don't even want to ask. In case a shadow passes over and it's gone. <laughs> exactly. Boy. She'll have his full attention. Won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. All right. At least we know she's going to be okay, hopefully. What the hell is that noise? Somebody's dying. All right, now we got to go to that merchant dude again. Who is... I guess back up here. Then we're going to buy some more healing potions. Since we used up all of our... Yeah, since we used up all of our... Herbs. Jeez, I couldn't speak for a second there because I couldn't think of words. Um, I think this is a different merchant, though. Right? It is. Because our objective changed because we got closer. So, buy some more of these. Uh, buy some more of these. Cannot. Because we didn't use any. Alright. There. Now. Let's go up here. It says go to the go to the Citadel courtyard, which is over here. What in the world's going on? We're fighting a behemoth. The summary. Well, some at least. I'm sure they listen Well, some people probably do, but it doesn't seem like a VOD to me. She didn't really hesitate. She stood between the assassin and our. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <sighs> what are you talking about? Did I crash the network or not? Yeah, exactly. It's Don't be freaking be well. Don't be cryptic in times like this. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Eloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, it. Indeed. Outlanders. If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. Enter the Citadel. You're not going to make any shards by standing yeah, out here. All right, let's go to the Citadel. I'll take the shards, even if it means having a listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Conjurer are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Hmm. What is this? By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King. 
the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. He's only like four. Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us oh, shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Sounds like it, or it looks like it anyway. Love your hair. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent, guy in Shadow's eye. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, okay. The way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First Remember time in the place, Citadel, stranger. gotta see the sun ring from off. Traitor's Bounty. Uthid, a well liked Shadow Karja officer, has been marked for death by High Priest Bahafis. Bahafis? There must be more to this than meets the eye. Okay, we're gonna do that first, even though silence won't be very happy, but. Yeah, so we're gonna go talk to. I, what's her name? Vanessa. Van, Vanessa. That's good. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. No, that is the right way. It makes way. quite an impression. Uh. Hello? Did I get sealed in? No, I didn't. Okay. Wait, what? I don't know where I'm supposed to go without going the right way. There was only one way in, I thought, so let's go back. This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. Climb down. You underestimate okay. the ease of hiding in the balustrade. If you're gonna watch some it's a short water, drop from there. This is the place to do it. Oh, yeah, I gotta climb down there, but I'm trying to find the way like back. You worry, boy. There we go. That's the way back. We'll go down there in a minute. Yeah, we gotta go all the way back through the city. Get out of my way, people. I got shit to do. Okay. Out of my way, guards. Out of my way. Nothing yeah, work. And we gotta go down Family. here. Yeah. You're regret. And where are you? Yesterday, I found a bunch of mushrooms, and I had to hand them the all. The food is from Dowager food. Queen Nasadi, little one. Her Highness knows times are hard, and helps when she can. Eat. Bring some home for your families. If you I don't know who Dowager whoever is. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. <laughs> who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Carja want to murder him. Of course, because the done Shadow Carja are evil. And I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Uh, who are you? Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. Okay. Why should I help Uthid? How do you know Uthid is innocent? 
I'm excellent oh, at making inquiries. Oh, why are you inquiries. helping him, I guess? Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. Makes sense. Uh, what's this what green climb? think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I see. Makes sense. I mean, I'll find him if I'll I can. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Okay. I'll go look for it right now. Go to the three dead trees. Okay. They're way the hell out here. Okay, well, let's fast travel to this campsite right here. Okay, now we need to go just right up here. Okay. Is that the three dead trees? Because it only looks like two. Huh, I guess three there are dead three. Trees. Just like Vanasha said. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Uthid came through here. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. Highlight the tracks. Grab that. Hmm. Well, let's go to the green climb. They're scanning Cross for me. River. <sighs> Somebody's scanning for me. Go down here. Looks like we're gonna have to climb up some mountains. Hence the climb part. Foot tracks up here. Time to climb. Indeed. But where's the first handhold? I'm to the top of the green climb, okay. And jump! Oh, fucking fucks. Uh, all my healing gone away. In the blink of an eye, like always. I was trying to jump over here. What the fuck? Try this again, but I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Isn't this what I'm supposed to do? I don't know why she wasn't holding on to begin with. That's really fucking annoying. Weird. There. And even higher. Okay, climb up here. Right? Yeah. How far up am I gonna go? Jeez. Now I know why it's called the green climb. All right, made it. Investigate the camp. Uthid? Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. Indeed. He Examine the food going. scraps. I've got to catch up. Okay. Highlight the tracks. There we go. Follow the tracks. Okay. I planned on doing that anyway, game. A dead machine. This has been hunting. Or it could have died from something else, unless you can tell by looking at it. Follow tracks. Examine the destroyed gear. Everything useful has been stripped. Or grazer. Looks it's been gathering components. Hmm. 
Oh shit. Kill the Glintops. Yep. Alright. Boom. Ah. Uh, damn it. I meant to hit you right in the chest hole. There. Run over here and slice you, dice you. Slice, dice, slice. Come on. Damn it. I hope that one died. I couldn't tell because I was being attacked. Boom. Boom. There. Don't fall on that ledge, please. Please fall down here so I can kill you. Or you can just ignore me. Ow! Whoops. Get some more of those. Whoa. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Come on, damn it. Boom. There. Now die. I said die. There. Grab all that. Uh, get out of this freaking... Damn it. Don't die, please. Uh. Boom. Ah. Uh. There. Damn it, how am I going to get up to you? Alright, I need to just do this. And I need to drink some potion. There we go. And... Kaboom! Okay, come on. Come on, damn it. Where did he go from here? There. Now, okay, where are the tracks? Hello, tracks. The glint hawk. I don't see the tracks. There we the go. The has been stripped. Run this way. Get some more of these and some more of these. And keep going. Uther took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. But he didn't even take the parts. Dead watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. He must be up there. Whoa! I almost fell to my death. Whew. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid. I'm not here to kill you. You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. I'm not here to kill you, dude. Talk to Uthid. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I'm scavenging your stuff. Now, let me talk no to tricks. you. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, 
Each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep when the struggle. Oh, there's the a timer. The infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. Of course they would but do that because they're shadow card I'm not surprised. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. Uh, Bahavis? The high priest Bahavis? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence. After this conversation, I'm gonna go See? unless this conversation it was takes he too who long. The culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, Pretty much. sacrifice? True sacrifice? The kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. Of course. To them, anyway. The Sun if Karja? It's honor you seek. The Sun Karja seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those Karja once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the Sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had... Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Exactly. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand Not too late for redemption, dude. The soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. <laughs> uh, the Shadow Karja? I can Karja? believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Edaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Edaman's just a child. Yeah, he's like yes. four. An untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disappear. I'm glad you saw the light. I though, did it myself. So to speak. A rotten throne. All right, it's time to go. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out. Uh oh. Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! Oh, damn. The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. <laughs> he did want to. Val well, in the last, uh, or in the next episode, we will um, kill these bounty hunters and see if we can save this guy and get him to safety. I want to thank you all for watching, and if you like what you see, I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos I post every single day. And if you really like the videos, I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment. That way I could have some interaction on my channel and know that people are actually watching and actually care. And if you want to know when I post my videos exactly when I post them, the best way to do that is to turn on your notifications as well. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.